So today's video is going to be my flat twist out in style. I like to start on super stretched hair and if you'd like to read my heatless stretching method, please check out my article at nativeprints.com slash big hair. To moisturize my hair, I'll be using the Curl Creme Brulee by Curls. This is actually my first time using it, but I'll give a full review later. And also, I sealed the moisture in with my Queens of Curls hair butter and I used bobby pins to pin the twist. As you can see, my hair is already twisted and what happened was <laughs> I videotaped it but for some reason it didn't come out right and the file was lost. So this is my hair about 24 hours later. My twists were super frizzy because I've been working out and sweating. But I went ahead and retwisted these first three right here so you can see how they look smoother and more fresh. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm basically going to retwist the twist and show you how I twist them. So first I take my wide tooth comb and I make sure I comb this section after I've unwound the twist. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of Queens of Curls hair smoothie. Just a little bit because I already have those other two products in my hair. But this smoothie is just going to add a little bit of extra moisture and it has aloe vera gel in it. So the aloe vera gel is going to help with definition and hold. So I start at the very beginning of my hair and just flat twist and then twist it all the way down. Once I get to the end, I like to add a little bit more product just to help my hair seal and to kind of just help my curl pop at the end. And so I'm going to do the same process with the rest of the twist. Carefully unwind the twist, comb through the section with my white tooth comb, make sure it's as smooth as possible, apply the products, and retwist. And this is also going to help my twist come out a little bit more elongated since I've already had them twist and now I'm retwisting. It's just going to help the style come out more elongated and more smooth. And I'm down to my last two twists, the two in the back. As I mentioned before, I already did the first three in the front. And you can see the texture of my hair is like really coarse and it looks like really poofy. And that's because of course I started out on super stretched hair and my hair has been sweating. So this is going to really help to smooth my hair back out and help my twist out to pop. And as you can see, as I'm twisting my hair, uh oh, I found a bobby pin in my hair. <laughs> but as you can see, as I'm twisting my hair, I make sure I pull through like the section and just smooth it as I go. Like I'm not going really, really fast, especially in the back where my hair is thicker, because it's going to help to smooth the style out better and keep my hair from being as poofy. Because of course it's in its natural state and it's going to try to revert. Even though I'm not using heat, I'm still doing a natural process to kind of stretch my hair, which is the twisting. So me smoothing it as much as possible is really going to help for it to come out the way that I want it to. Okay, so I'm laying down my edges a little bit with the product that's left on my hands. So now I'm going to use my bobby pins 
basically I'm going to take each twist one at a time and pin it towards the back of my head. Now there's no special method or pattern that I do when I pin my twists. I just try to pin them to the back of my head. And as you can see, I leave my very ends like exposed. I don't like pin them down because I coiled them and I don't want it to flatten my natural curls. So that's why I do that. So I'm taking these last two and I'm gonna just cross them over and pin them together. And after I'm done pinning, of course, I'm going to go ahead and take my satin scarf and tie my hair down. And I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, so now it's the following morning and this is how my flat twist look pinned down. The headscarf really helps to smooth out your hair as well as protect your hair during the night. As you can see, um, this could very well be a style by itself. And I even mentioned on my Instagram that I wore my hair like this in a style. That's how my initial twist got so poofy. But anyways, I have some soybean oil on my hands now. It's just a light oil that I've used in my previous videos. And I use a light oil to take down my twist just to help with frizz I learned that from a lot of other youtubers so what I do is I go ahead and take out the bobby pins and the oil is still on my hands I just put a little bit on there so after I take out all the bobby pins I start just unwinding the twist and the key for me with twist outs and braid outs I've mentioned before is just to try not to finger comb because if you finger comb, it's gonna get really frizzy and you may even lose the definition of the style. So you can see that I'm being extra careful to try to pull it apart and not finger comb my hair. Now at the end of my hair, some of the pieces, um, I like to just kind of coil my fingers around just to kind of help it pop, the curls pop at the end and the definition, it really helps a lot. And I even take it and shake it sometimes just to kind of like give it more body, which I'm going to do in a second. <laughs> So I took a few pictures and here's a few definition shots for you guys. It came out really defined actually. Um, it was a little bit poofier than I thought it was going to be but I did start out with an afro so I think it came out pretty good. So 
So I did a couple styles and the first one I called the side swept half pinup. But all you do is smooth back one section of your hair and you take a couple bobby pins and you just pin it down. And here's a few pictures. Okay, and from that style, I also created this soft fox bangs with a twist. And basically, this style was born because I noticed that like I was losing definition in my bang area. I guess because I was messing with it so much. But if that happens to you, you can try this style out as well. So basically, I'm just twisting my bang area like to the front. And I twist it all the way down like right above my ear. And then I'm just going to coil it around like right behind my ear. And then I'm going to secure it in place with bobby pins. Not too many, like one or two. Okay, and after I have my bangs secure, I'm going to take the next section right above that and I'm going to go ahead and flat twist it all the way down into a little twist. I then take the twist and secure it softly behind my bangs. And that's the style. It's really soft and it looks really retro to me. I like it. And I hope you guys like it too. And here are a couple more pictures. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope this video was helpful. And check the description box for all my personal links and the links to the products used.